What's going on YouTube? It's Mr. Ferguson here once again. Thank you guys for coming back for another video here in Central North Carolina. It's trash day apparently and yeah, you just wrote about I got the neighbor's trash. So uh, anyways, the neighbors on this side are having like, I think under attic crawl space repair or something. So I don't want to be weird to that guy and talk to my phone. So I'm on the other side today. But thank you guys for tuning in here in Central North Carolina where we're dealing with all that Canadian wildfire smoke um, if you're watching this at a later date in the future, um, it's really affected New York to where New York looks like uh, exactly what it looked like in Iraq when we had sandstorms and it was orange and we had just pellets of sand, just disgustingness. I remember that clearly. That's exactly what New York is looking like right now. It's, it is pretty wild uh, and uh, I'll reserve any other opinions I have of that, but we're dealing with a little bit of the haze and the smoke from those wildfires here in North Carolina. So uh, that's pretty crazy that it's drifted all the way down here. It's been clear cloudy it's been cool it was supposed to be like between 80 to 88 all week with no rain well we had rain yesterday and it feels like today right now it feels like 60 degrees so uh, it's been cooler it's been cloudy um, and again <laughs> they try to predict climate change 20 years out but they can't predict the next seven days i just it blows my mind but anyways on another topic um we're going to talk about fungus today i want to stay on top of the fungus topic because i want to show you guys what the lawn is looking like right now i want to stay on it to show you update after update as long as man this dog is just driving me nuts over here and just oh, shut up <laughs> it bothers me uh, but i have nowhere else to go um but we're going to stay on the fungus topic because i want to stay on it to show you you know for for people just now dealing with it for the first time uh, including myself i want to stay on it we talked about a couple videos back we did a spray we did an armada we did a high, higher dose, a curative rate of Armada. We put some 505, uh, four ounces per thousand in there for nitrogen to grow it a little bit, the new formula. And uh, and so we, we did some uh, Clary's 3336 as well, which is a group one fungicide. We let that sit on the blade yesterday. As I said, we had just enough rain to like maybe trickle that down into the soil uh, if there was any left on the blade. So that's where we are. And then we did an update last video showing you what the yard was looking like. And I'm gonna show you what it's looking looking like now here in just a second uh, but before we get into fungicide uh, and the fungus and the lawn and what it's looking like right now I want to say one more thing about some random drive-by commenters that are in the very very small percent but and this probably doesn't even need to be said because 99% of you know what I'm about to tell you but I feel like I want to say it anyway it's on my heart this morning so real quick, before we show you the fungus in the lawn, uh, I don't even think this really needs to be said, but I'm gonna say it anyways, because every now and then I'll get a commenter to come by the channel. Uh, for instance, I had one uh, not too long ago, like he came to the, the channel where I was talking about liquid magic, talking about green effect, and how uh, it literally will transform your lawn from an average lawn to a darker green with one application. I've seen it done multiple times and this guy wanted to say, oh, it didn't do anything and you're putting links in your description, you're just trying to rip people off. And it just drives me nuts because it couldn't be further from the truth. So I want to say, first of all, thank you for being positive in the comments. And second, that uh, if you don't want to use the links in the description, my gosh, don't use the links in the description. They do help support this channel. Uh, the super thanks is there. The links help to uh, promote, uh, helps me and my wife to be able to keep the channel going to where we can introduce new products to show you um, because she's a preschool teacher. I'm just a regular city municipality worker and we're on a 0.25 acre lot. We're not millionaires. We're not thousandaires. We're, you know, we, we have a limited budget for this lawn care thing. This was never in our world to create a lawn YouTube channel. Um, and so the links do help just a little bit. And some of you use them and I appreciate it because I'm only going to show you and, and list links in my videos of what I've personally used in my lawn. I'm never going to do something like here, buy this microwave or, you know, buy this, use this nursery down the street because they're awesome. I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do any of that. If I use tall star, I'll link tall star because this works. You should try it. If I use something like protein and I say, man, you ain't gonna believe the visual change that this fertilizer provides. I recommend protein. I'm going to link that. So I just wanted to be clear. And I think 99.9% .9 of you understand that are regular viewers. It's just these one-offs that want to come by and they just make assumptions. So I just wanted to tell you that straight up. And if you got questions, ask them below. Um, but I think most of you know that. So without further ado, thank you so much for your positivity. Thank you for liking the video so it can get out to other people. Um, I just try to give you my experiences and what I've learned in North Carolina with fescue. So with that fur without further ado, let's talk about now I want to show you the update uh, two or three days later after the last update 
of what it's looking like on my lawn. It's not pretty. So again, they're doing, um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but they're doing work on the side of the, the, the crawl space, uh, the house next door, but guys, it is, uh, it's not pretty. Um, it's not, <laughs> it's, it's, I told you it would get worse before it gets better. And, and I mean, I'll just squat right here and you can see, um, yeah, it's not pretty. Uh, you can just see the discolored, um, the discolored blades and somebody is like can you get in real close and i try my best to identify it but again what we're trying to look for is we want to be able to come down here over time after some mows um, to find out if the fungus is growing out um, we're hoping because again how why, why is it going to get worse mr ferguson the better well fungicide like i said last video is not just going to magically turn everything green the, it's going to stop the spread then the nitrogen helps the growth and as we mow chop mow chop right and so that fungus is going to have to stop and then healthy grass begins to grow but it's going to take time so number one i'm going to have to change my blade soon i failed to do that last video and i feel like after mowing that could have contribu contributed to spreading it even though i'd put down a curative rate so shame shame mr ferguson but hey it makes good content right um so i don't know how much you guys can pick up on it but everywhere i'm pointing the camera it is filthy it looks like dirty grass it just it's it's not healthy it's not green and vibrant like it was it's infected grass and i'll just kind of get a little bit lower here and you can see this is on the side now is it now the question is like this right here you know this is this is what i'm talking about so this blade you know is this you know growing out healthy at the bottom or is it infected and just got infected i don't know the answer to that question that's why time will tell um is it growing out because i'm seeing a lot more of the brown on the tip and like i said with this canadian wildfire stuff uh it's misty rainy uh the other day also you know not good for we want it more dry than wet because that contributes to fungus so another area i just wanted to show you this over here just here's some just random you know what it looks like and uh just nastiness and uh we're and you know obviously when we spray it like i said our fungicide some people say we need to water it in and get in the soil but I, everything i've read says says leave it on the blades let it do work on the blades and then maybe water it in but um, if you look right here at this section um, we'll get to that big clump right there in a second but uh, you see I don't know if you guys can see on camera it is really dingy and brown and just uh, I don't know exactly what it what type of disease it is not brown patch I know that but it's just like some kind of maybe uh, gray leaf spot possibly um, not sure um, not sure but that's kind of what we're dealing with just the the bright ugliness the 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 fading of grass blades now this guy this bit it looks like poetry if somebody said on the short i think g grip said that but this is the potted uh triple threat and so it, it was so bulky it just kept grow, growing and growing so tall i cut it out and just threw it in the ground the other day and you can see how much taller that is than the rest of the lawn so it is the only healthy spot right now in the lawn uh this guy we put in uh that's another potted fescue that's been cut probably two or three times and uh you know it's it's healthy as well because it just got put in the ground even though if you look over here some it may be trying to get some disease i don't know down in there but uh but that's triple threat that we put in to fill in this hole and that's triple threat i put in to fill in this hole it is so thick i need to when i do my potted grass i need to do less thick grass right there if you look over here i don't want you know the guys working on the house next door this is definitely thinning out this is jonathan green den shade mix because this area don't get a lot of sun and you can almost tell right now because this is like a thinner <laughs> damaged grass and then it goes into the <clears throat> excuse me the gci turf over here and it's almost you can almost see that line right here of gci or excuse me gci on this back side versus jonathan green it's really struggling it seems like um on the wood line that the jonathan green has struggled more with disease than gci i can i will say that the, the cultivars i don't know what cultivar the the fescue is but it, that's what it seems like to me but don't quote me on that as far as that's what mr ferguson you know that's my opinion but over here on the back side i don't know if you guys can see that and that may make my voice sound a little weird but that area seems like it's stunted the growth um i don't know if that's because of disease or if it's because um lack of rain and it's also been hot but we've just got all these weird areas in the lawn right now so i, I know it's not a perfect video it's the best i can show you but it's just there's fungus everywhere it's spreading it's it's gotten worse so again um, fungicides are not you know miracle workers um, i put down the preventative rates um, 
way back at the end of March, and it seems to just said, screw you, propiconazole and azoxystrobin, and boom, here's fungus. And so uh, hopefully the Clearys 3336 helps, makes a difference. The Armada with the different active ingredient may help, I don't know. Um, but even here in the front yard, same thing. Uh, just to show you a random spot, um, it's just nasty. I mean, it looks like gray leaf spot almost. Uh, some of these spots on the leaves. So it's just something you have to just say, mm, like you want to do something, right? Whenever you see somebody injured, you want to go and help them, right? Well, I see it injured, but I feel like I've done the right thing by applying the fungicide to stop the spread. Now I don't want to take my dirty fungus filled you know, mower and then keep mowing over it and spreading it. So that's what we don't want to do. So I'm going to put my other blade on. It looks like the hill has, uh, has suffered a little bit as well. It was, um, kind of dried up and shriveled up with lack of water the other day. So it's just nasty guys. It, it is definitely, like I said, I expected it to get worse. It looks worse than it did before, but if it gets absolutely cringy, you know, like crusty all Brown, obviously it's not growing out. Um, it would be, you know, turning, turning all brown would be a, a significant worsening than um, it growing out. It should all be on the tip, which means it'll be on the surface. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm trying not to panic, trying not to go crazy, but I want to stay on top of the fungus um, um, issue because that's really the main focus of my lawn right now is we got this fungus. We need it to be, get rid of it. It's, it's a problem. All this moisture. I mean, it's a good thing, you know, and it's like, we can't, we can't, it's like, <laughs> we can't be satisfied as people right like it's june it's normally 90 degrees and hot and dry right and we're like oh oh well thank god it's cloudy and it's rainy but now you're dealing with fungus so which one do you want do you want the high heat where you got to water all the time and pay money for that or do you want the fungus where you got to be using money for fungicides it's like either way you're going to be going out of pocket if you want to keep a healthy fescue lawn in north carolina so with that guys i thank you so much for tuning in I know it's not the most exciting Friday video, but, uh, oh man, it just, it doesn't look good right now. So, uh, anyways, God bless you guys. Let me know your comments below. Uh, I appreciate you. I thank you guys for supporting this channel and, uh, we'll continue on the topic and, and keep you up to date with fungus in central North Carolina. God bless you.